Brian, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Before we jump into the, the big topic stuff, can you give me a little intro about who Brian is and what do you do at Spark? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm one of our architects here. Um, I've got uh, kind of a more general software development background, um, C++, Java, uh, web applications, um, kind of worked my way through college programming, even though I was, I was going to, to college for a mechanical engineering degree, but always just managed to end up in the, in the programming uh, uh, industry. And uh, then even after I graduated, I, I didn't really work in that field. I, I really focused on software my, my whole career. Um, had a role with, with General Electric uh, at their global research center um, that became their software center of excellence. And uh, we chose Salesforce as our uh, kind of engine to manage all of our opportunities and deals and kind of our pipeline. And so that's that's how I was introduced was to kind of help set that up, set up uh, a lot of the reporting. Um, and um, and I really, it was just such a, such a stark contrast. Um, all the things that I didn't like about regular application development, all the infrastructure, all the, you know, the, what database do we use, all the plumbing, it was all gone with Salesforce. And with Salesforce, uh, all you had to do was focus on kind of the the value that that you wanted to provide, and a lot of the a lot of the details were kind of handled for you, and that that really appealed to me. So uh, a little bit later in my career, I kind of came back to that as, as something that I I really enjoyed, and so I've I've dove in deep to uh, Salesforce and um, have uh, really focused on kind of architectural issues. So as an architect, I spend a lot of time making sure I understand what our clients really need in terms of value, and then trying to figure out which pieces of the the ecosystem to bring together in order to, to make that real. 